Okay, the second position we're going to talk about today uh, with the catcher is, is the up position. Now, the up position is a mobile position. We use this position when there's people on base. So whenever we have a runner on first, second, or third base, we have our catcher come up into an up position because it's more mobile. Why do we need to be more mobile when people are on base? There's two main reasons. Number one, people steal. Okay, they try to attack you offensively, they run. We need to get from a fielding to a throwing position quickly. And so we want to be in a position that we can do that by. When we're in a down position, as Michelle's in right now, her weight is down here over her hips. And it's very difficult for her to get in a throwing position quickly. And so now we're going to take her and move her into an up position so she can quickly throw the ball. The second reason, the second reason we go into an up position is for shift and block. Pitchers, I hate to say it, sometimes they throw the ball wildly. What we tell our catchers is we want to make sure that they block each and every ball that's thrown into the dirt. And so, again, we want to give them an opportunity to do that so they put them in that position where they're more mobile and they can shift and block the balls that are in the dirt. So that's the main reason why we use this up position. Okay, now, Michelle will demonstrate some up positions for you. Go ahead, Michelle. Okay, now, notice with Michelle, what we did is we take her legs and we spread them out. Notice in the down position, Michelle was on her toes. Now in the up position, Michelle has her weight on the inside balls of her feet right here, okay? There's not a lot of pressure put on her heels. Their heels are on the ground, but there's not a lot of pressure. The pressure is in on the inside balls of her feet, so she's ready to move in either direction. The legs and the back are close to parallel to the ground, okay? And the bottom is up. We want to make sure we don't drop our bottom, because the more we drop our bottom, then we shift our weight back and it makes it difficult to move. So we want to raise our bottom up the air and want to have it sticking up a little bit so now we can increase our mobility. Here's a side view of the up position. We're starting in the down to see what it looks like. Okay, now Michelle will go up into the up position. Again, the legs are wider spread. The legs and the back are almost parallel to the ground and the bottom is up. The bottom is up. Okay, relax.